So I've got a new idea for a game. So I've been thinking about making a football game kind of similar to like Madden or Retro Bowl. Now I understand they're kind of different when it comes to gameplay, but I'm striving for middle ground here. So what I'm gonna do is probably like, you know, get inspired by both games. Uh, so I'll uh, copy, take inspiration from um, some aspects of Retro Bowl and some aspects of Madden. Uh, you know, I'll compare, see which one I like more and um, implement that into my game. What I'm doing is kind of half copying. So I've got some idea about what kind of features I want to include in my game right now and how I'm going to do it. So I guess I'll kind of explain um, while I'm kind of implementing this in this devlog. All right, so let's get straight into it. So I started off by opening Unreal Engine 5 for actually the first time because I've somehow never used it before. So I have actually made games in the past using Unreal Engine 4. However, most of them were for game jams and they were either bad or boring or in most cases both. So um, hopefully I'm gonna use Unreal Engine 5 this time and it will somehow make it better. I debated about using the top-down template from Unreal, but why not make it myself? So I made a blank project. After some of the most innovative and original naming this world has ever seen, I went ahead and created the Unreal Engine project, only to find... In this time, I tried to be productive, but like the rest of my summer, I completely failed. I just made like three folders and then went to sleep, leaving the shaders to compile. Waking up the next day, I decided to start working on the throwing and catching mechanics of the game. So I went ahead and asked myself, Madden or Retro Bowl? And I decided on Retro Bowl because Madden is literally just tapping a button that requires no skill. With that decision made, I went ahead and made a football since I need a football to throw and catch. Oh no 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 no! <laughs> So I went ahead and dropped that masterfully created football into my level, and yeah, I, I don't really know. So I'm going to tilt it on the side to make sure it drops properly, and... So it turns out that some of the values were wrong, but now it should be fixed, and... Okay, maybe I have to use Blender after all. So I went ahead and opened Blender, deleted the cube, and searched up a football reference image. This, of course, was step one to my advanced technique of making amazing 3D models. Next, I added this reference into Blender and added back the cube. But, of course, I delete everything on the cube except for a single edge. Next comes the most advanced part. I'm just going to um, trace a quarter of the football. Yeah. I'm going to flip it using the auto mirror and realize that I flipped it wrong. Next, I use this handy tool from Blender and literally just spin the edge to make a ball. Then comes the coloring, which actually lined up perfectly somehow, so that was totally unintentional, but yeah. Something I forgot was the lace on the football, but that was too much work and I realized the football would be far away, so... And just like that, our high quality football is finished and we can head back into Unreal. And moment of truth. All right, it actually kind of works. And now it's finally time to implement the Retro Bowl throwing. Although I did forget one small thing. I kind of don't know how to do that. After watching some videos and copying some learning the uh, program behind this mechanic, now it works. Okay, maybe not, but um, just a few minor fixes will do. Okay, now it's not even showing up, so um... Okay, so after much more time than I would like to admit, it finally works. But as you can see, it doesn't launch, so we can use this one block. And now it should launch. Okay, maybe not. Turns out I had to click this one box. Yay, now it works. Something that I have not mentioned yet is that this node, which predicts where the football is going to go, actually won't work in an actual game, because it only works in the Unreal Engine editor. So I actually have to make my own prediction path. Of course there are proper ways of doing this, such as particle systems or splines, but why would I do that when I can just make a sphere and launch it like this? 
Yeah, I mean, it was really simple and I got it on my first try. But anyways, now it works perfectly and... No, you can't just use spheres, it'll take up too much memory. Oh yeah, well, I couldn't give less of a... Uh, right away. Uh, so for no reason at all, um, I've decided to actually remake this the proper way instead of just using spheres. So, um, yeah, time to remake it. So here you can see a prime example of someone who has no idea what they're doing in a particle system. So I went ahead and decided to start using splines. If you're wondering what a spline is, well, um, <clears throat> I can't really tell you because I, I don't really know. I think it's like a line or something, um, maybe like a spine or uh, I don't know. Yeah, that's why I'm going to go watch some videos and uh, learn uh, or maybe copy, uh, take inspiration from the videos. Yeah. Luckily, there are many tutorials on how to use splines to make a projectile prediction path, so I went ahead and copied one of those, followed thoroughly one of those tutorials. After taking inspiration from the tutorial's code, it now works. Or not, because this looks like sh After copying more closely, it now kind of works, but there's no color and it's really narrow in the beginning. I ended up fixing the color problem pretty easily by googling it, but unfortunately, it's still really narrow in the beginning somehow. After making a Super Bowl halftime laser show and a Chinese finger trap laser show, I promptly gave up. Yo, can you look over my code? Why would I do that? So my cousin willingly helped me fix my code and now it works. Nice. Taking a deeper look into the code, it is actually quite messy, but we can always fix this later. With the football launching implemented, the next thing I want to work on is going to be adding actual players. This will allow us to kind of do some actual throwing and catching and kind of get some gameplay going on. However, before I get straight into the implementation of this, I kind of want to go over how I'm going to do this since it's a little bit complicated with both offensive and defensive players. So what I'm kind of thinking at the moment is we're going to kind of have a base blueprint that will contain some features accessible to all players. So this will include the animations. Um, we'll include the throwing and catching. Uh, the reason why I have both of these um, for all players is because I want to allow the player to do this lateral stuff. That's really cool. Humphreys, who lost the football with a little pitch, and they go back to Evans, who's going to throw it back to an offensive lineman. And lastly, I think we need the movement, obviously, and not lastly, because one more, uh, the stats of each player. And I'm going to make these stats universal because I want the player to be able to troll and put offensive players on defense and defensive players on offense. After we have this base blueprint, I think we can kind of branch off uh, into offense and defense. We can get into the kind of specifics. And as for special teams and kicking, we'll deal with that later. However, before I start programming, I actually need a person because that's how there exists a player in the world. However, modeling people is not really my specialty. Fortunately for me, I copied, I mean took inspiration from a tutorial and made this person for a different project, so I get to repurpose it. Because I am very bad and also too lazy to make my own animations, I went ahead and went to Mixamo, which I would highly recommend if you are also too lazy to make your own animations. You can upload any type of character and just rig it up by placing a few markers. I found a couple cool animations, just like this throwing one and this defensive stance kind of thing. However, one thing that I did not find was a proper catching animation, because for some reason all of them seem to flop down on the ground like a fish. Now despite the fact that it actually looks simple to just yoink an animation and put it into Unreal, it's actually not that easy, because Unreal likes to fuss around and animations never work the first time around. So it actually took me like 3 hours to put these in. The movement code was actually not that bad, however right now it is a little bit janky since the animations are not different for running in different directions. Since I didn't want to spend another couple of hours implementing more animations, I decided that I'm just going to turn the player and maybe change it later. I added some simple statistics and kind of coded them in so that they would affect gameplay. Right now there are only 4 statistics, speed, agility, throwing and catching, and agility doesn't do anything right now. But of course, more will always be added later on in the development. I added a socket to the player's skeleton so that the football can stay attached to the player's hand when they're doing animations and that stuff. After coding up a simple program, the catching now works. Or not, because it's so f***ed up. 
It turns out some of the scales and locations were wrong, but now it's even more wrong. I mean, to be honest, it kind of looks like a football mascot, not gonna lie. Anyways, now I fixed it, and now the guy can actually catch the ball. Now, I didn't implement any of the animations yet. I think we'll do that next episode, because I'm too lazy to do it right now. But, um, yeah, it kind of works. I added another person into the world so that I can play football with myself, and this totally didn't take another two days, by the way. No, no. Alright, so of course there's a lot of work to still be done. Um, like, animations are not implemented, and football is, like, really weird. It's, like, floating almost, and I have no idea why that is. But with all that being said, my crappy code is kind of giving me a headache, so I'm gonna hop off right now and take a break. In the next episode, we're gonna try to get some animations going and fix a few bugs. I'm also gonna try to get some offensive and defensive gameplay outside of the devlog, since I don't want to bore you guys with code. I'll just show it to you guys next episode. But yeah, that's probably it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, maybe subscribe. Also, please leave some feedback in the comment section below, since I need more ideas to copy, take inspiration from. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next episode. See ya!